the, the seed and then trees nourishable good in the eyes of man nourishing unto the body came out then the Lord God said of all that has been planted in the garden freely eat the challenge that man has always had is because God first planted and so man came on the scene thinking that planting is not his job planting is not his responsibility somebody has to plant and I come to eat and that has been the issue with man from the days of Abraham till today. But I want you to have an understanding. God never gave seed to man. He planted the seed. And then asked man to come and keep tent the seed that had been planted so that it will bear more fruit and then man was free to eat of the fruit of the tree. Don't forget, the poor eats seed whilst the rich eats fruit. Hear this. It is an abomination to eat directly from the hand of God. The seed that God had, he didn't give to man directly to eat. He planted the seed and out of the ground, out of the ground came the tree that was good for food and man was to eat the tree good for food that had come out of the ground. So from God to the ground, from the ground to the mouth. Write that. From God to the ground from the ground to the mouth. Anytime you shorten that process, you end up in poverty. Anytime you shorten that process, you end up in poverty. The process of the rich those that are in line with God, those that are the righteousness of God, those who follow the steps of God, the process always is from God, the source, all right? So if I don't use God and I use the source, you should know from the source to the ground, from the ground to the mouth. That simply means whenever and whatever the source gives, he gives in seed form. The source will always give you in seed form. In the days of Noah, when God was about to destroy the whole of the earth, God asked Noah to pick a pair of each of all the animals on the face of the earth. A pair, male, female. And 
from that pair became whatever there is. God created man. The scripture says, male and female, he created them. And then he now said to the male and the female, be fruitful and multiply. God gave the seed and commanded the seed to be fruitful and multiply. The source always gives in seed form. It is up to you now to determine whether you will treat the seed as it should be treated or you will be in a hurry to take the seed in its raw form and eat it. Unfortunately, so many people, whatever they take from the source, they treat it as fruit. Instead of seeing it as seed, they treat it as fruit. And so, they eat the seed. And because they eat seed, they become poor. But whoever will take from the source and treat it as seed and therefore plant the seed and wait until the seed has brought forth in multiple forms, he will eat and have in abundance. Because he is not eating seed. He is eating the fruit of the seed. Take two grains of corn. There is none of you here that will ever eat two grains of corn and be satisfied. I mean two, I don't know what you call it, grain. Two grains of corn. There is none of you here that will ever be able to prepare any meal from two grains of corn. I don't know if there is any specialist that can turn two grains of corn into a meal. But treat the two grains of corn as seed and plant the two grains of corn and wait for 90 days, then you will have a meal for the whole household. God never expects that what you take from source, you eat direct. No, it has to be from the source to the ground, from the ground to the mouth. That is the way of the rich. Take it from the source to the mouth. That is the way of the poor. And unfortunately, so many of us, that is how we have chosen to live our lives.